In this segment of the e-learning tutorial, I'll demonstrate how you grade forums. There are a couple ways to grade forums. You can grade the whole forum using points. You can grade the whole forum using what's called advanced grading using a rubric, or you can grade forums rating each post that the student makes. In these three scenarios, I'm going to click on the forum activity here. And then first I'm going to show where you determine this configuration. So we have opened the forum activity and notice that these are the requirements that we created at some point. And then further down, there is the student engagement. In this case, it's only myself and not using actual student information. To check the configuration of this forum, we go here to settings after we have opened the forum activity, and then we scroll down. If you go to whole forum grading, it's configured to use a grading system with points. You could use a scale, or if you don't want to grade anything, you'd select none from this area. And then under the gradebook configuration, it's configured to be associated with a forums category, which has to do with the grade book. Now to grade this, let's suppose that the students submitted their work and now we need to grade this. You as the instructor, you'll need to click here on grade users and then locate the student name here on the right hand side. You're going to read each post and then assign a grade for it. And then you're going to press save and then you'll move to the next student. In this case, the student didn't post anything. You would give them a zero press save, press close, and now it brings us back to the forum. If you go back to the course, we click here at the top, and then we go under grades. You'll notice that the grade has been posted. So 16A, this was the one that we posted. Notice the grades have been posted for this particular activity. Now let's go to the second scenario. The second scenario for grading a forum is using a rubric. In our case, we have this 16B, and now we want to configure this. We have not started grading yet. Ideally, you want to configure the rubric earlier before students start posting. At this point, we want to simply configure it to use a rubric. You can go here to advanced grading on the top and currently there is no rubric set for it. So we click here on create a new rubric. So you could create one from scratch and we'll do a different tutorial for creating rubrics from scratch. For now, we are going to use a new rubric from a template. So we scroll down and these are all the different rubrics that we have in the system for various types of activities. So this one, it's 100 points in total, 70 for the initial post, 10 for each response, and 10 for the communication. And these would be the actual requirements and then the levels for each requirement. So we click here on use this template. This, and then we press continue. Now we go back to the forum itself here. And you can do that by going to forum on the top left here. Or if you're on the actual course page, you go back to the forum, 1.6b. And now we want to grade. Notice we have a couple discussions going on with this. And now we want to grade it. We click here on grade users. And then notice on the right hand side, we have these options now based on the rubric that we selected earlier. So you would review for Karen student here and the list of students would be by going left and right. You'd find the initial post, you'd read it, evaluate it, assess it, and then specify was it developed or in what stage it was developed. So that's for the initial post. You could put some feedback. Then the first reply for classmates, you could again read, locate the first reply and then provide one of the assessments and notice it's going to be associated with points. The second reply, in our case, the student didn't submit one. And then we move further down to the quality of communication. 
and the system is going to aggregate all these points and all you have to do is press save and move to the next student to grade their work. Now, if we go back to the grades in the course, so we go to the main course page and then we go to grades, you'll notice that for 16B, the student got a 90. That's because for one of the responses, the student did not submit the second peer response. Now, if we go back to the course, there is one other method for grading the forums, and that is to rate each response separately. So here is rating the actual separate posts. So we have the prompt, the initial prompt. If we go here to settings and scroll down, Notice that whole forum grading is not enabled. We are not grading the whole forum in one shot here. We are going and grading each post. We are rating each post, assigning points to it. And then you can select for those points, should they be added up or should they be averaged or should they be counted and so on. So in our case, the best would be to add them up because the initial post typically should amount for more points than the actual responses. So we are going to add up the points for each post, and then the total will be a maximum of 100 for all of them. So then we press save and display here. So this was just the configuration for grading. Now we come here to Solis post, and you as the instructor read through it, and notice in the bottom here, you have this option, this drop down. That option was not available in the previous post. So you click on the drop down option, and then you're, let's say, rating the first post against 70 points. And you come and say, okay, well, this is worth 65 points. Then you rate the next post as well. Again, we are rating the Karen student here. This was a response, so let's say this was four points worth. And then you go to the main page again for your forum, and now you go and grade the next uh, set of responses. This you could do it for separate students. In my case, it's just me because I'm just simulating and testing this for demonstration purposes. So this, you read this post as well, and you say, okay, well, this is worth 10 points. Now, if we go back to the grade book, course page, we go to grades, and we'll notice that for forum 1C, notice it has aggregated for Karen student 79 points. So it added the total points that we assigned to each, that we rated for each post. Again, there are a few ways to configure forums for grading. You can grade the whole forum, like we mentioned earlier, using points. You can grade the whole forum using a rubric, or you can grade each response separately 